Welcome to Staying Relevant. I've got a bad throat. The show with one best friend who's fine and I another best up. friend who's being a little bit gravelly. But actually, I sound quite sexy. I think. Yeah, well, it's good that you think that. Um, I will be swearing, and uh, as the same as Monday's episode, because we're filming it straight after, I'm still working my way through the, the can of ting. It's wetting my whistle. I'm just going to let that settle. This is Thursday's episode, which you can watch on Sunday. Uh, Monday's episode, which is the main episode, will be out tomorrow on YouTube. Um, so make sure you follow us on YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram at Stay Relevant Podcast. Um, rate, review, do all of that crap. The usual thing. I mean, you get the picture. I do it every fucking week. If you don't know it by now, you never fucking will. Yeah. Um, but if you're new, welcome to the party. It's going to get wild. It is going to get wild today because we've got our uh, bonus episode, which is all oh. about you guys. Um, now, what we need from you for the bonus episode is for you to write in with all your stories, uh, dilemmas, anything you want to fucking say to us. And then if they're good enough, then we will read them out and we will have a lovely time with them. If you are going to send something in, then please send it to insanity at HQ. No, no, that's not it. At staying relevant at insanityhq.com. That's, yeah, send us some shit. Send us some stuff. Yeah. And also follow us on the socials. Yeah. We love it. We're growing. Our Instagram's growing. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, little baby. We're flying up the the, the numbers. 200 right. and something thousand now, I think. So keep following us on Instagram, at Staying Relevant, uh, on TikTok as well, on, on YouTube as well. Uh, and Pete, when's it come out? Monday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday. Um, we have a new member of the team today who's just been involved in his first Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and he looks appalled. Yep, he does. So, but you'll get used to this shit, my man. Well, on that note, I think we start with a listener letter. And this is, uh, Sam's going to read this one. Uh, so this is from Sam to Sam. Subject, what does my dream mean? Oh, fuck. Can you imagine this about Pete? Well... I'm just going to start this one off with I've never had a dream, so I, I honestly I forgot about this. Yeah, Pete doesn't dream. That's so weird. So, I, I mean, I can't explain your dreams to you, but crack on. Let's see what Sam uh, has got for Sam. Hi, Sam and Pete. I wondered if you could help dissect my recent dream. I had a dream where I was helping Sam, me, I think she means, gain an investor for your upcoming Jacket Potato trailer. I offered the name Jacket Spuds, but with a potato in a suit jacket, as per Sam's trust fund, Sam wasn't impressed. However, I overheard my investor speak Italian to someone and confess to killing the previous celeb he invested, Davina McCall. However, Sam wanted to continue and introduce him to Pete, as he had Labrador tunnel vision and was excited. Anyway, I woke up, so who knows, what did Sam get the investment? No, sorry, so who knows, did Sam get the investment? What did you call your jacket potato van? Did my investor kill you both? Would you say that it's a normal dream or maybe no TikTok before bed? Being a fan since the start of Main Chelsea for Sam and PAs at, at Hive in Skegness for Pete. You the saved yourself. Days. You have saved yourself for the second, second half of this letter. Uh, and the final bit says, please don't call the email shit and slate me like the other one. Let's start with, uh, I don't think it's TikTok before bed because that is the weirdest load of shit I've ever heard in my life. I don't even understand it. Sam's making jacket potatoes in a van, but he needs an investor despite the trust fund. Um, and the person that's invested as, as, as on a rampage of killing fucking Davina McCall type celebrities. What I like could actually. potentially be next. Could it be Sam? Uh, what the fuck are you talking what about? What I like about this, though, to be fair, is that she's put me on the same level as Davina McCall in her mind. So, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. Well, you're not on the same level. She was above you and then she was murdered. Um, I'm so, next in line. So so, 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 so you, you you stepped up. I'll take it. This is the sort of... Because I, I genuinely, I joked before that this may have been a letter from Sam to Sam. And now that I've heard this, <laughs> I... I think you may have wrote this and forgot. It is very me. Because this sounds like the sort of thing that you would write. But I also remember Hive in Skegness as well. I've been there. We've actually obviously met on a PA. She doesn't remember you from there. She remembers you from Made in Chelsea and me from Hive. Oh, so yeah. you've not been sounds there. Sounds about more right, um, to be fair. But I used to do Hive a lot, actually. Um, I think I've done it for the past few boxing days. Um, always go up there to Skegness for that. Skeggy. Um, I opened... 
Isn't that the one where they dropped a Lamborghini in yeah, through the Yeah, Lamborghini. through the roof. I, I, We've been together. Yeah, we did, yeah. I opened the Lamborghini room and the ice bar they have there. Wow. Um, Do you I remember think... when we nearly slipped over onto the Lamborghini? We we did slip over. Oh, we did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ted, Ted, TV Ted was at that TV one. TV Ted was there. I had, um, yeah, I had my cowboy boots on, so um, yeah. it was a shiny floor. Um, but yeah, it, 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 lovely place. They've got a strip club under, underneath. Uh, that has now gone and that has been changed into a jazz bar. Little bit better, I think. A little bit more high society. They've moved the strip club around the corner, apparently. So I, think you, I think she saved it in the back end part of that email, to be fair. The front end was pretty shit. But uh, the fact that you watched Made in Chelsea and saw Pete and Skeg Ness, I thought was quite nice. I'm going to be honest with you, Sam. I don't think it's shit. I just think you need to, to, to see someone. About because this, uh, like, I, I, I don't know. Is that normal? Yeah, it is. So you just dreams? don't dream. No, it, dream, dreams are. I pretty just imagine wild. if I dreamed, I'd, I'd dream of like, uh, like, I don't know, riding a giraffe in heaven. Oh my god! I got a message that from my nemesis, weird. Roman Kemp, with this. So there is a reason I'm showing you this. Oh, is, is this? Are we just? Is this just? Mate, wait for it. So mate, I had this dream, and you were having like some like party. But your house was like, it was, it was in an apartment and the door like opened like a, it was like a massive like vault door that went sideways um, that you had built this house, right? And it went sideways and then like you were pretending to like force filled the, the, the door open. So that was sent to me out of the blue by Roman. I haven't spoken to him since June 2023. But luckily <laughs> for you, Sam, who has wrote in with her dream, that one's worse and more boring. So he's actually done you a favour there. Uh, so not so bad. But thank you for that. And can't wait to see you again in Skegness when um, uh, work slows down again. Excellent. So let's move on and let's, let's hope... We can improve on on um, Sam and not this Sam. Well, actually, let's hope we can improve on both Sams <laughs> and Roman um, with a letter from Jack. Solid name, solid start. Hi, Pete and Sam. Firstly, myself and my fiance were at your Manchester show. What a great night. Proper job, Pete. Thank you, Jack. Although we did leave hoping you'd manage to make it out of there alive. Only just. My story takes you back to 2019 when my fiance, girlfriend at the time, was away dancing on a cruise ship. We did long distance for a year and as I'm sure you can imagine, there are only a select few ways you can keep your relationship alive when apart for so long. Went away on a lad's holiday during the time my fiance was in the ship. I'd had a few drinks and decided to make use of what I'd convinced myself was a positive natural lighting in the hotel bathroom. The newfound confidence from the cheap booze had sent her a few news. So basically, he'd found a nice bit of light in the bathroom, sent his bird yep. dick pic. Couple of good angles. Love that. Um, just that she could wake up and remind her what she was missing. After a perfect night's sleep, grinning from ear to ear from the antics of the night before, I woke up and grabbed my phone instantly, full of excitement and hope for a treat to set me up for the day. However, I hope it's Pete reading this. <laughs> What I woke up to was quite the opposite. 16 unread messages, but zero from my girlfriend. All of them from... Oh, no. The family group chat. <laughs> I'm sure you know where this is going, but I'll finish the story. Yes, unfortunately I did. I had typed my girlfriend's name into WhatsApp and sent several nudes to the family group chat rather than her privately. For context, the family group chat that consists of her... Her brother... <laughs> Her brother's girlfriend and her mum. I have been the brunt of many a brutal joke, including a stocking at Christmas that was full of penis-related gifts consisting of penis pasta, a wind-up walking willy and a 10-inch penis lollipop. I did propose to her last September and we will be getting married in 2026. Love the pod, lads, and hope this one makes you chuckle. It did! Jack, better. Yeah, Thank you for saving well done, the bonus Jack. episode. That really, do you know what I did there? One of these. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for good saving chuckle. the episode, Jack. Um, Love that. Dick pics, uh, nudes, I am all for them. <laughs> Mate, do you know what? You can never go wrong. If it's the right angle and the right lighting, as it appeared to be, then also what's quite nice is not to your family, which I quite rate. Uh, that's where I thought it was going. Um, but now mother-in-law, I mean, the, the uh, most awkward out of that, I imagine, is her brother. brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, Although the brothers might be sitting there going, oh no, my girlfriend's just now seen that your penis is way bigger than mine. 
And so she's going to be, my girlfriend's going to be like, oh, no. I'm yeah, but if he's either. thinking that, he's also thinking, oh, my God, that huge penis is going into my sister. That's a very good point. The mum might be like, well done. Go on, yeah. yeah. I bet he's sitting there. If it was a good angle and stuff, I bet he sat there going, do you know what? Now you all know. Now you know. Well, I'll tell you what we should do. I mean, because I presume, like, listen, if you are sending pictures, then you must be quite happy with what you fucking got. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen something here that I feel like he's basically trying to tell us something. I've been the brunt of a brutal joke, including a stocking I, at Christmas of a 10-inch penis. What are you trying to say here, mate? I feel like, Jack, I feel like you may have sent us this story and with that bit in the end because you have got a fucking weapon on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, actually over the moon. What's his surname? Tripod. That's it. Yeah. So Jack, Jack Tripod sent this in. Jack's got a huge cock, 10 inches. That's Jack what he writes told a good us. story. Right. Be a Jack. Be a Jack. But also, I like the way he obviously clearly really listens to the podcast because he added the little however into... Oh, by the way, and this is completely off kilter, but on the tour, people are really getting involved in the howevers and the Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sundays. They're really enjoying it. We're really happy, actually, with quite a few of your, your letters in recently. There are some that let you down. There are. And, and, and they let the whole community down, to be Yeah, honest. you're not just letting yourself down. You're letting No, you're not just letting us down. You're letting yourself down, more importantly. Um, so it's not, it doesn't matter what we think and how disappointed we are in you. You should be disappointed in yourself. All right. And we're just going to, we're just going to leave it there on that serious note for once. <laughs> because I want you to all have a little think about what you're doing. Uh, but we love the fact you're enjoying yourselves. Because you are, because I read the reviews. Just try and explain that you're enjoying yourselves better. Because at the minute, you're shit. Thank you so much for listening to this bonus episode with two besters of best pals, Peter, James, Wick, Sam, Thompson, and uh, we will catch you next week. Staying Relevant was an Insanity Studios production.